Hello, my name is Jason Chanko and I'm an Applications Engineer at Siglent Technologies North America. In today's video, we're going to take a closer look at the sequence mode. And uh, so sequence mode for the Siglent SDS series of oscilloscopes, or many of our Siglent SDS oscilloscopes, uh, is basically taking every trigger event and storing that data in memory. Very much like frames in a movie, you can fast forward and rewind. Um, and there are, is a video already on sequence mode directly, so I'm not going to go into gory detail about that. But I would like to let you know that there's a really easy way to set a number of frames. And once that number of frames has been set up, uh, once that number of trigger events has been captured, the instrument will automatically go into stop. And so i uh, just like to quickly go through that. Here I've got an SDS 6000A series oscilloscope connected with uh, over LAN to a computer and I'm using a VNC controller to, uh, to have multiple windows open. And I'm also using an SDG 7000A series arbitrary waveform generator. And they're connected, uh, channel one from the SDG one is connected, or SDG seven, is connected to the uh, channel one input of the oscilloscope. And so I'm just going to use the arbitrary waveform generator, the SDG7, and I'm gonna manually trigger in order to get the oscilloscope to, to trigger on each of those inputs. And then we'll just uh, go through that configuration really quickly and show you how to use that sequence mode and single trigger to be able to get things rolling for you. So let's get started here. Uh, what we've got is the uh, SDS 6000 display on the left hand side, SDG 7000 on the right hand side. You can see the scope is in stop mode. We're going to go up to acquire and we're going to turn on sequence mode and that's going to let us set a number of sequence segments that's determined by the memory depth and horizontal time base and then we'll go to single. So now the instrument is waiting for a trigger. So now let's go over to the SDG 7000 series. You can see we've got a burst setting for pulse. Again, this is just uh, configured to uh, input or to trigger the oscilloscope directly. So just using it as a trigger source in this case, um, but it could be any uh, known you know, signal that we may be interested in. Now, when we press trigger, you'll see that we get a segment and, or a sequence, and then we get another sequence. And now we're on to three trigger events, four and five. And you may recall we had five set. Now you'll see that we've gone into stop mode and we have an image on the display. So the oscilloscope has captured five of those frames of data and it's now storing them in memory. We can go to history mode and we can take a look at those individual frames either by typing in the frame number or by using our rewind and forward and play buttons. Um, so we can kind of go through each individual frame and take a look at that, uh, take a look at the data in that frame. And then we could have multiple channels as well. We can also go to single step mode and step through them individually. So by using sequence mode and single trigger, we can stop when we're finished completing that trigger event. And um, I hope you find this video to be helpful. If you do have any additional questions, please contact your local Siglent office. Thank you and have a great day.